This is a Land Rover Defender. Now let's take a look at the Land Rover Defender. This is a nice desert cover. Desert sand color, right? Land Rover. This is a package. This vehicle obviously comes from England like this. So let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at the back room. Look at these nice, look at these nice back seats. Look at the interior in this thing. The nice big sunroof. This is, a D, uh, this is the Land Rover Defender 110. It says good evening. Well, plenty of leg space in the back. We've got our voltage plug-in. As you can see, we can plug our phones in right here. We've got another HDMI port in, as you can see. Plenty of headroom in this Land Rover. I like this Land lot. Plenty of headroom in here. Seats aren't that bad. Nice and comfortable. Um, it does have this rugged off-road style padding in it for off-roading. We do have a little, uh, little sunroofs right here, too. You can get light out the back. Now, here we have our controls. It's pretty sweet. So now, let's climb over here. Let's take a look at the front passenger seat. So as you can see right here, we have the rugged off-road, easy to clean. This material right here, um, if any of you guys know anything about boats, this material is made of like boat seat material. So you can take a hose and you can actually hose this down, scrub it down, uh, rinse it out. So you can actually get this vehicle wet. This one should have a drain plug in the floor. Now, some of them do have drain plugs in the floor. This one does not have drain plugs in the floor. But usually these Land Rovers have drain plugs in the floor that you pull the drain plug out and you can hose the inside interior out. So let's take a look at this. We've got our memory seat mode for how you would sit. How like you, let's say you have short people, uh, you have short people, or you're a tall person, you have your seat position, you can set it this way. This dashboard is nice and hollow. A nice space goes all the way through. I can stick my arm through. You see my hand on the other side? It's pretty sweet. Now, this dashboard is a structural part of the vehicle. If you did not know anything about these Land Rovers, this has a magnesium solid bar which goes across from this A post to the other side A post. This supports the dashboard, okay? This dashboard with a magnesium uh, bar in it, this is part of a structural part of the vehicle. It helps to keep the structure rigid rigidness on the off-road, okay? We have another HDMI port. As you can see here, it's very, uh, as you can see here, it's very, uh, they put defending big words so you know what you, what you got. So here, this is a ground handle. Um, plenty of leg room. Plenty of leg room, plenty of space um, here. These are like grab handles. You can grab on when you're off-roading. Um, again, this Land Rover has, uh, these things do come with middle seats as well. So the ones in England, the Defender 110 and 190, they come with a middle seat. This one obviously doesn't have it. You can get these with the middle seat if you want. This is an icebox cooler. All you got to do is hit that button and this turns into a freezer. So it literally freezes your drinks and keeps it nice and cold. It's like a refrigerator pretty much. So um, you just hit that button one or two to refrigerate. Plenty of nice more HDMI ports. Nice uh, dashboard center console that goes. This uh, shifter, pretty cool shifter. Makes you feel like you're Land Rover, you know. I like this floating screen. It's pretty sweet. So, let's take a look at this Land Rover. As you can see, it's, it's all raised. It's raised up. You know, it's too, it's made to look good. You got the low approach angles, nice LED headlights. You got the nice uh, high approach. Now, these right here are for the turbocharged coolers. That's why they have these radios on the side. For the turbocharged cooler, this opening right here is to redirect the airflow around to make more fuel economy. So, these little skirts right here, another cooler, fog lamps, lots of cooling. Now, this Land Rover Defender. Uh, nice vents on the side. Let's check out the driver's seat. Let's see how the driver's seat looks like. Okay, well, as we come into the Defender, it welcomes us to a nice, uh, nice display. Well, welcome to your Defender. You see the nice uh, display. You see the screen turns on the, the rear view camera. This turns into two ways. You ever see the GM vehicles have this too. If I flip this switch right here, I go to regular mirror, as you can see. If I flip it back, I go back to a camera screen. So for some reason, if you can't see out the back because your vision's obscured, all you do is you turn this little button right here and go to camera. So as you sit in our Land Rover Defender, it's very, very nice feel. Very truck-like feel. I like the feel of it. Feels nice. It's got a telescopic steering wheel. Adjust the controls. We've got an engine start-stop system. Obviously, there's no key in it. Uh, we've got our shifter. This is our height mode to load it up and down. Up and down. HVAC controls. Radio, 
still can see the radio navigation turns on. They're like every other GM vehicle, um, you know, searching Highland Townsend. As every other vehicle, you hit the pause button and it turns on. Now I'm going to turn the screen back off again if it turns on. I've got to turn that off due to copyrights. I will get in trouble if I have it playing for copyright reasons. So I'm going to try to turn that off. The radio should turn off again as soon as I open the door. Now, let's look underneath the hood of this Land Rover. Here's a hood release. Now, you guys ready for this one? It's a fine hood latch. So, here. Oh, yes. So, this Land Rover engine. This Land Rover engine, as you guys can see right here, it is a two liter turbo four cylinder, okay? Now, this is an electric turbo. This isn't a turbo which runs off the exhaust gas. It's an electric turbo which runs off a 48 volt battery. I, you guys probably didn't know this, but yes, I'm telling you about this engine. This engine's pretty powerful, pretty peppy. It gets up and goes, it scoops. Uh, it packs about 310 horsepower from a, uh, I believe it's a two liter four cylinder turbo. Well, it makes like 300 and some foot pounds of torque. You see right here. So, group of engine. 2022 LDT4. So, yes, it is a two liter four cylinder Jaguar Land Rover engine. Put you back on here. You got all this beauty crap of bull crap on top. Let's remove the bull crap. You can see the intercooler. It's obviously liquid cooled. You can see the liquid cooling lines go into it. With the throttle body hidden over here in the intake we have a mechanical driven fan ac compressor we have our turbocharger right there this is silencer so overall not a bad looking vehicle the only downside is the uh reliability reliability on these things isn't quite the best from the center but uh There you guys have it. This is the Land Rover Defender. We got our nozzle squirters right here for the headlights, keep them clean. We have our other nozzle squirts right here to keep the headlights clean. Um, overall, vehicle looks pretty good. It's not that bad. And this one is a unibody construction. It does not use a steel chassis. The older Land Rover Defenders were steel chassis where you had the frame and the body so the body on top of frame body on frame is pretty much you have a steel chassis and then the body sits on top of it these do not have these are one complete solid unit these are a unibody construction so if you look at it all underneath all that aluminum skid plate and hairy cardboard and we've got a back spare tire now the spare tire is a little smaller than the main tires on here it's a p400 what I don't like about this back door is it's electronic. It's kind of heavy. Back door's kind of heavy. Now, this right here is where your jack system's going to be. Your jack system's going to sit right in here. We have our third row seat in here. No, this does not have a third row seat. Sorry. Now here we've got our camping gear. This is for the uh, lowest the airbag suspension. So if I need to get something out the back, I'm going to hit this button. And I can hold the button. I can lower the Land Rover all the way down to load night. Now, let's take a look at it. As you can see, it sits lower. Now, if I want to raise the Land Rover back up, I'm going to hit this button right here. Oh, the vehicle has to be on. But, oh, no, it does not have to be on. There it goes. Raises the back up. As you guys can see, things raising up. There we go. Whole thing is raising back up again to full extension mode. Praise pulls up the front end. Just like that. Now, if we take a look at the suspension, we are fully up again. So, let me do that again. I like playing with this stuff. I'm simply going to hit this button and I'm going to have you watch the suspension. If it drops. So, here we go. There we go. We dropped the vehicle. So now I can walk into the back. I can pull stuff in and out very easily. So 
I'm going to raise it back up again. I'm going to show you with these two buttons right here on the back. This is another cool feature I really like. I'm going to hold the button. I'm going to show you it go back up again. There we go. Look at that. Comes the front end. Pretty sweet, pretty cool. Now this stuff is pretty neat when it works, but sometimes it breaks down. But anyhow, that is the that is the video about the Land Rover Defender P400. Um, hopefully you guys like that video. If you guys like to see more stuff like that, um, please leave a comment. Um, let me know what you think about this video. I'm new on YouTube, so any kind of advice about editing and other things you guys like to see, please add those in the comment. And I'll try to respond as quick as possible. Until next time.